Hi, this is Stuff with Kirby. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Raspberry Pi with openweathermap.org to access their API data. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use Open Weather. You just need to sign up on their site to get an API key. We're going to use current weather data. Kind of gives you a description here on how to do everything. But it's kind of confusing for the first time. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Took me a little while to learn it. So we're using JSON. Here it just kind of shows you how values will come back to your request. For this tutorial we're going to use the coordinate values and the weather value. I like to use this site here for the values because like their sample value the data comes back like this which makes it a little harder to sort through and find what you need. So this site here lets you enter it in and just hit validate the little the little link from here. And then now it kind of spaces it out nicely so you can see what's in each value. We see under coordinate, there's longitude, latitude, weather, it has a description for main, clouds, and then scattered clouds. Under the main, we see there's temperature, pressure some other stuff. Wind speed if we wanted. Some other values. Their site here kind of explains what all those values are. So let's, let's go look at my board here and see some, what would happen when we request the data. So now we got some of our values back and there's the value for coordinate, cord, and we also have weather. Now you notice that the coordinate just has open braces and a closed brace, but the weather is using a bracket also and the brace. So if you see something with a bracket you need to change how you request the next variable. So I'll show you that next. So if we wanted to see the longitude value we'd use our variable name which is weather and then cord and lawn for longitude and that would give us our longitude value but since the weather part had also brackets besides braces we need to go a little different to get that so our variable weather and we want the weather section but since it had those brackets we need to put in a value value zero since there wasn't other braces groups in there and then description and that'll come back with the description now, other sites, like maybe if you're trying to grab data from somewhere that are a bunch of forum posts, they might have multiple braces under that group. So if you wanted the first post, you'd use zero, but maybe you wanted the third post, you'd put in two, and so on, and that's how you'd get other groups. But this one didn't have anything, but we'd still need the zero there. If we don't have that there, we'll get this error, which I'll show you later. All right, so we're back. So I'm in my weather folder. I'm gonna show you the file. So you see here, the first thing we do is we import JSON and requests. And then here we have our key, which this isn't my key. I'm not showing that, so you'll get your own key and then you can put it in this spot. And then uncomment out what you want your units in, metric or imperial. I'm using imperial. Your city ID. 
This is a city ID for my location. On their site there's a link to where the city ID is. Let me go back to that. So under current weather data there's by city ID and then here's where their list is. You just download it, search that text file for your ID code. So then we use, we're going to call the value, er, the URL, the URL, and we're going to use request.get. And now we put in that link to that JSON file we want. So API openweathermap.org data 2.5 weather ID. And here it put in our city ID value and then the units we want it in. And then the app ID our API key. You can have all this in just one long file, but I made it this way so you could edit it to work with your data so you could start right away. So then we're going to make a variable called weather and it's going to load that link that we put in earlier. Here I have a another variable of uh, millimeters of mercury so it's going to take the the weather variable and then under main and pressure it's going to convert it from I believe it's in pals to millimeters of mercury so something easier for me to understand So now we're going to run it and it's going to, we want it to print out the coordinate. So print the variable name, bracket, we want the coordinate section, and then bracket again, we want longitude, so lawn. And then I have here, I want to say longitude after it. Oops, looks like I have a typo in there. Let's fix that quick. I don't want that there. And then another, the next one we're gonna print out the millimeters of mercury value. So that's I have it just as int integer because I don't want a lot of trailing zero letters after or trailing after the decimal. And then millimeters of mercury and then we want the, the weather description. Is it cloudy out or what? So you see we have the weather variable again. And then the brackets for weather. And here you see is that integer needed that I talked about earlier. And then description. And it will return the description value. So I'll show you what this will run and give us. And then I'll also show you what happens if you had uh, used a variable in there that had brackets but you didn't specify which one of zero or any of that. So let's exit out of here. I'm going to save those changes. So this is one that I have that has everything, all the correct key. So you see it returned back our longitude, uh, millimeters of mercury, and right now scattered clouds. So now let's try it with, with that variable missing. So now it comes back that there is an error here under print weather weather description. It says the error is list indices must be integers, not string. So if you get that error, look at the JSON file you're getting back. It might have had brackets 
and you need to let it know do you want the first value, the second value, the third value of uh, braces. This one was easy, it only had one. Right? So let's go back to our weather data. So that's it. It's really simple to get the data from a website. You could use this for grabbing posts from a site if they had it or even sports scores possibly. Most sites will have a little API documentation. You just gotta kinda look through it. The part that was really screwing me up at first was that braces and brackets because you see like here only the weather variable has that the other ones didn't have it so hopefully I explained this easy enough for you to understand I guess if you have any questions let me know in the comments or if you thought there's a better way I could write the code let me know also as I'm also learning So thanks for watching.